hello friends the today's uh, agenda is how to change background color of text box on receiving focus in asp.net means the web application say here uh, in general when the user uh, performs any task there are two possibilities one is either the task perform at the client end or at the server end here the web application has say there are two button and when cursor move from one text box to the another text box we know that the background color of the current text box should be changed but this for this task we should not perform anything at the server end this we can manage at the client end so basically there are two ways the first way is we can use javascript or any client side script so here i am taking example of javascript and second thing is we can also go through with css so in this video i'll just focus on the javascript where you should uh, um, at least you should have the two skills one is uh, where to write javascript hmm? the skills required let me write skills required hmm? uh, the basic how to write javascript and second thing is as far as text box this task is concerned you know to change the background color of text box you should know at least this thing you know the style part and two events on focus and on blur that means when focus is received by the text box the client side uh, event the javascript event the on focus is going to fire and when cursor leave the text box you know on blur event of the text box will be fired so why we are discussing these two event say there is there are two text box when the cursor receives in the first text box the background color change to the red and when the cursor leaves again the background color of first text box should reset to white so we should perform task at two different level one is when cursor is received by the text box and when cursor leave so here in on uh, focus is on the receiving cursor we will change the color to red and here we will change the background color white i hope it is clear so the same example you know we'll also do um, using css but in another video fine so let me create a web application first so file new web application and you know the empty websites let me write here uh, J, uh javascript practice web js web js web javascript so why we create here empty websites because you know, everything we can learn from the scratch so i don't want anything you know the built in skeleton that's why if you look at the source uh, so solution explorer there is no code here so let me just add one blank form add and then window form there is window form give the name default fine and see uh, uh, there is skeleton given so you know that first thing is you should know here i written know how to how to write javascript how to means where you should know where the javascript can be written so again there are three different way either you can write javascript at the page level at the uh, inline or it can be external also external internal and inline fine so we'll not discuss much about that but let me just write here in the head section i'm going to write a javascript so you that this you know script type equal to javascript and closing tag fine in between that i'm just going to create one function function change color of uh, id let me just write id okay great and here i'm just going to write a code i'm just going to write a code uh, like this where this is nothing but id means what what actually the id is i'll tell you later but see uh, i have designed a, a, you know this function says that whatever object you have that object style background color is going to be red Fine. So, how to pass object? You no, know, in JavaScript that we'll discuss now. 
so very simple part that we have done but uh, function is ready function cannot automatically call so let me design now web form here so let me take two text box as you know that we require two text box at least to move cursor from one text box to another text box so this is one text box uh, let me do copy and paste here there are two text box now fine so when here you can you know call the javascript like on there is a event see we discussed no there is a two event on focus and on blur so i am just going to write on focus see if it is not listed even it is fine you just start writing uh, what function i want to call change color no uh, so whenever cursor is received at client end uh, that should be a function function called uh, change color cng change color where i want to pass this object no this text box one only so i'll write here this i'll pass this keyword as argument the meaning of this is uh, it's a inline script this in the inline script this is written that means uh, this particular object fine will be passed as argument so when first time it is going to call you know the text box one id will be passed here and the text box one background color will be changed hmm. second time also you know i'll do the same thing hmm, but for the text box two so in whatever text box i want background color red uh, on the receiving focus i'll simply uh, write this see how simple it is hmm, the double quotes is missing okay now let me save and run this application so we'll come to know uh, whether it gets done or not let me just check uh, see as such there is no error yeah see when when cursor is there see you can see fine let me just click on here yeah but me background color is not changed so that code we have not written so let me go back and write code now so I, what I'm going to do it, you know, I'm just taking one global variable here, variable old color. Fine. So when cursor is received, before changing color to red, I'm just going to save my old color. Fine. So when cursor is, you know, uh, losing their focus, cursor is you know moving from one text box to other uh, other box. I'll you know again set this old color to the uh, object to the text box. So what can I do? Just I'll write here, no old color equal to what? Whatever I'm going to change it, fine. So whatever I'm going to change, simply I'm going to assign. So whatever the existing back color of the ID, uh, fine will be saved. Very simple. Now I'm going to write one more uh, function here. Hmm? I'm going to write one more function here. Sorry, sorry, something wrong, something wrong. What is going on? Oh, something is done at my end. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay, so I'm going to create one function. Function reset color of the ID. And uh, let me write here again the same thing. The background color I want to change of the object passed to this function. But what should be the background color? Whatever the old color is, that's simple. So when the cursor is received, this function I'm going to call where the original color will be so stored first, then the background color will be changed. On the when the cursor leave, fine. Uh, what we'll do in the background color will set to the old color. So let me che call two functions. You know, uh, one is on focus event, other one is on blur event. On blur equal to reset color of this this means current object fine the same thing i am going to copy and paste for uh, the second text box also now let ca it get done let me just run it and check see let me just click here see now can you see that okay it's get done uh, thank you very much to listen my audio I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye.